In question 3a, the electrons on the left side of the loop will still migrate to the top of the loop, and the electrons on the right side will also still migrate to the top of the loop. However, in this case, the B field is getting weaker as Y increases. So, and here is the Y direction. So what we can do is we can calculate the induced voltage from each of the two sides. So we have V from the left side is we would integrate U cross B along the left side, U cross B dot DL. And so it's from minus one to positive one. U is five Y hat, B is Z hat, point two E to the minus point two on that side. And all of that DL is X hat DX. And simplifying, we get from minus one to positive one, we get one X hat e to the minus 0.2 dotted with x hat dx, which gives us x e to the minus 0.2 from minus 1 to positive 1, so we end up with 1.637 volts. Then we can do the same for the right side. That will be equal to minus 1 to positive 1 integration, 5y hat cross with z hat point 2, and now we have minus 0.25, an exponential. All of this dotted with x hat dx. And simplifying, we get 1 x hat e to the minus 0.25 dotted with x hat dx, and that gives us x e to the minus 0.25 from minus 1 to positive 1, and we wind up with 1.558 volts. So if we were to draw our loop, we would have this side would get a value of 1.6, or contribute a value of 1.6 volts, and this side would contribute a value of 1.5558 volts. And so then to find the total V induced, we have to take both of these into account. If N hat is in the direction of B hat, then our DL summation would be in this direction. And so that means we would add this value. We get 1.637. And we would subtract, going around our entire loop, we would subtract 1.558. And that gives us a total of 0.079 volts.